Good morning, YouTube. We're here today, um, just getting ready to leave. It's about uh, 4.45 in the morning right now. Got a commercial job about two hours away. Um, and yeah, so I prepped the trailer last night. It's uh, plugged in right now. So seeing here, we got a green battery charge. That is great. Um, but yeah, I basically just prepped the whole trailer last night um, for this job. So, got just a bunch of little extras. I got the bucket sprayer, and then I've also got an X Jet in here. Um, threw some extra chems in here. Some LA Totally Awesome. Um, filled up the tank last night. Should probably put this back on there. But, yeah, guys, so um, we are going to be heading out uh, for this job, and we'll see you when we get there. It's the front of our building that we're watching this morning. Alright guys, so we just got set up at our job, just cleaning it now, here's a little walk through, kind of what we're going to be walking today. Right now we're just testing a little bit of a downstream on it, to be honest, seeing what that kind of does for us. Um, but, yeah, so there's this side. This one's pretty bad too. Um, so I'm just gonna have to like block off this entrance for a little bit or something. But yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna downstream this right now. See how that works and get this thing going. And these are the things that happen, guys, while we're on the job. Classic right here. So our pump is uh, not running as well, and I come to find out that. This wire literally broke off of here, off the fitting. It ripped, so we're trying to replace it right now real quick. We got the other fitting right here. I'm trying to scrape out the inside of it so we can reuse it, and not have to fully leave, so yeah. all right guys so i just want to show this as well we're right at exactly 25 gallons of sh in the tank uh so hopefully that gets us through this whole job um and we got some pump sprayer here and then our uh, bucket sprayer as well with some straight so i brought this if we need to pull like 12 and a half percent we could at least do that with the bucket sprayer to get this place looking nice and clean but yeah it's starting to melt off so that's good um you can see yeah it's already looking way better i mean obviously it's still black there but literally all that was green we're just gonna soft wash the whole building basically guys so yep also guys, I did want to note as well that we are using a lot of surfactant on this job too uh, in order to help our SH stick a lot. Usually when we're downstreaming houses, we're not using surfactant. But for this stuff, we, want, we really want to stick on there.
so that way it can dwell for as long as possible. Because that's well, this is going to take a lot of dwell time. So I'm really hoping we can get it clean with straight soft walking. Right. We'll see. Alright you guys, and now we are rinsing this bad boy down. Definitely coming clean. Super stoked with how this one has actually come out, guys. This is one of my first bigger commercial washes. Get some concrete at a commercial drop once. But yeah, this is definitely 110% better than where we were uh, previously. The owner bought this in 2006, 2007, he said, and he never washed it since. Um, and wow, these results are great. I'm really, I'm super happy with this, uh, to be honest. Um, it's not, you know, perfect. And we're still, we haven't even rinsed. We haven't even rinsed this. We're still rinsing, so yeah, guys. Um, I'm really happy with this. Minus that initial uh, roadblock. This stuff has been going pretty smooth, I will say. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Oops, up close. Still gonna have a little bit of streaking, but yeah, you can't really do much about that, I'll be honest. You know, it's, um, it's this color from the grind buildup over time. You know, bucket spray. have to pull out the ladder in order to get this top section guys but um, yeah dude this place I'm really happy with this it's not even like 10 a.m. yet I think it just hit 10 a.m. we got here at 7 30 so I've been here about two and a half hours and the soft wash pickup uh, set us back about 45 minutes so yeah, we're basically just going to rinse down the whole thing and then we're calling it a day here. Alrighty guys, so we got the commercial wash basically all finished up now. Um, we're just doing the final rinsing, but here is our final product. Way, way better than where we were at before. So we used a mix of about 6% at first and then we felt like that wasn't really doing the trick completely so we switched it up to more like 10% just about with a lot more surfactant so we put a lot more uh, surfactant on to help you know make it stick essentially because it wasn't felt like it wasn't sticky and honestly I learned um, that that does help a lot uh, so that's that's my key takeaway from this one is the surfactant you know, it's like Matt's done rinsing here the bucket sprayer there we go so now here's where we uh, connected to the wireless hose There you guys in the final product. Completely finished. There we go.
go. Hola, señor Raúl. Bien, bien. ¿Y tú? Go. This place looking clean, guys. Let's go. On to the next. Alrighty, guys. We are at um, our second job now of the day. Now noticing they could use a nice roof off, but um, yeah, second job of the day. Full house wash here. We're running both uh, both units. So, um, yeah, let's about to just get started on this wash. Sir. Oh, we washed this one two days ago, and uh, we tried to close him with the same day, but he didn't want to, and so um, we gave him some time, and he called us back. So, um, yeah, shout out to that house. So guys, just wanted to point this out. Look, you can see the SH working. So that's how you can tell when, see the little, the little lines? That's where it's a little bit getting more clean. And so when I go to rinse here, let's see if we can tell in the video or not. When I apply, it's gonna come down a little bit more brown again. Yep, there it is. It's more brown. More brown. Brown is coming down. If it's black, you're going back. It's mainly for roofs, though. But yeah, look at all this. Wow. You can see that is where that SH just needs to work a little bit more. Could go away in the next couple minutes here. You can see it go away in front of your eyes. I'm pulling SH right now. Yeah, guys, you can see the house going to work. The solution's going to work on the house. All right, guys, and here's some more organics that are on the bump out section. You see all this gray? That is also organic. So if you're walking around properties and you see gray, that is all organics. Um, so I just like to point that out every time I see it because some people don't realize that but just rinse it off with the SA. So um yeah that's just a little tip about house washing. Same with this area by the vent. That's also uh organics. That's moisture from the vent and this stuff grows so that will go away as well should at least Also guys, if you're not already doing it, um, make sure you're rinsing down the driveway. It takes an extra 10 minutes, depending on the size of the driveway. And you know, this will help with any type of streaking marks left over from the runoff from the house. So I'm always uh, very weary of when I see a very newer blacktop driveway um so it looks like it was done not too long ago so i always like to make sure i flush out the entire driveway just so we don't leave any 
stains behind on a freshly sealed driveway. So, see some bubbling, that's from the SH. Also, most driveways just do that, they bubble up, but um, yeah, it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. I didn't just leave stray SH on someone's house, on someone's driveway. So, there's that. Basically done with the house now. Here's the back of the house all rinsed down now. As you can see, um, oh, I gotta get my hand on the gun here. All right, as you can see here, those organic spots are gone. Um, same with by our vent. There's a little bit of like putty or something that's not organics. Uh, so, but a lot better than where it was. And our plants are all safe, kept those watered down. Yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's basically it for this wash. We did the commercial wash today, and then we also did our, this wash today. So, two, do two jobs one day, we'll take that. Here's our front walkway, nice and tidied up. I got the house wash, shining bright again. Yeah, guys, it's a pretty straightforward wash for the day. Oh, that's the final product. We got one more thing to do, and then we're done. Let's go. So we're here at our final spot of the day, finally coming to an end here. What time is it? Is it like 4 p.m.? 445 quote here on these uh, stones Got some algae yeah it's like different form of sand it's got some pretty full tracks of moss here Front walkway. What the heck is that? A little, oh, a little chipmunk. Um, I don't know if she wants this. So she's not home. We're literally like two minutes away, so that's kind of why we came. Um, and then this front. Oh, she only said front walkway. So I don't know if that's. Let's do that. It's probably both. I assume, Amy, there's a little chip on here. And she said the red pavers. Oh. In the back. Okay. So she wants the pavers. walkway in the front you could probably upsell her on a deck wash as well looks like they just got this house painted or something looks pretty clean i'll say but yeah they could use a deck wash so we'll give her a bundle price forgot to grab the roller though just to measure this out real quick it's probably like it's probably like 300 square feet i'd say between 300 and 400. All right, that's that. That's the end of the day. That's our quote. And yeah, good day to all.